census has gone digital, right, online. So uh, in pri prior censuses, it was always a paper form that you just mail back uh, to the uh, Census Bureau. Uh, this time around, you get a postcard, but uh, it's going to instruct you to go online uh, to fill out uh, the census. And so uh, in some ways, it's, of course, a lot easier for many people to go online, use a code uh, that they can enter in, uh, and then fill out the census survey. It just takes a couple minutes, very short. Uh, and of course saves you a trip to the mailbox uh, with a card. Uh, so that's one big change what people see. Of course that's not the only way you can complete the census. Uh, there will still be a mail option, there will still be a phone option. You can call in uh, and talk to a representative at Census Bureau to provide them with the information. Uh, there's also uh, going to be enumerators of course that are sent out as well for people who don't respond by mail, online, or by phone uh, to, to door to door to talk, count people. Uh, so those parts of the decennial will be familiar <laughs> to many people. Um, and so that's going to be of course what people see on the ground. Behind the scenes there's a lot of new things that are happening with respect to the census as well. A lot of new data, big da data, uh, new technology being brought to bear on outreach efforts being able to kind of better identify where we might have problems counting people, uh, what populations uh, might be kind of uh, difficult to track down in some way, shape, or form. So uh, behind the scenes, there's also a lot of new technology that, that Census Bureau and individual states, localities, nonprofits are, are kind of bringing uh, to, to bear on, on ensuring, again, that we have an accurate count.